I'm going to bring Liam in here from Louisiana. Uh, Liam is a skeptic, but he's curious how much of magic could be explained by having premonition. Hmm. Yes, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Hi, Liam. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um, uh, it took me an embarrassing long time to come around to skepticism. I'm, I'm an ex-evangelical, uh, but since then I've gotten a fairly decent science background. And uh, e even your top end physicist, even Einstein, would talk about how our perception of the passage of time was probably just a quirk, probably just an illusion. And physicists can't really explain why we perceive a linear passage of time, okay? And since my deconversion, I still have little things that I, it, it, jump to conclusions or, or have intuitions, and then something will immediately happen, few and far between. And I, I, don't, I don't try to ascribe any meaning of life to it, but it's things that I probably would have, back during my religious days, thought was a sign, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. my question is, is, do people have these things on a regular basis, or, 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 or are they aware of that? And, and how much of that would explain, uh, oh, I did this by magic, or oh, I did this by prayer? Maybe you were subliminally aware of, oh, this good thing's going to happen, or this bad thing's going to happen, and then use the whole prayer or witchcraft as sort of a, a meditation to bring it into your consciousness. I'm curious what people think about that. Yeah, hmm. I, 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 think, I think what you're kind of describing... Um, to me, the first thing I thought about is like when you have um, you see eleven eleven on the clock all the time. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those mm -hmm. um, those things where like once you become aware of it, you like you notice it quite a bit. Um, I, For me, yeah. yes, and even though I'm not in the astrology or anything, the time of day I was born was five forty two, and every time I go out on a road trip, as skeptical as I am. I always see a license plate with that number. It happens so often. I started taking pictures of them to show other people to make sure it really happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's kind of like the uh, the when you're counting the hits and discounting the misses too. So like, um, this is a terrible example, but <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Like I I know. So I have two kids, and when I um, was thinking about getting pregnant with my second, uh, I, felt, I felt like everywhere I looked, all I saw were pregnant people because that, that was what was on my mind. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I focused on. Mm -hmm. And I, what I wasn't seeing were all the people that weren't pregnant that I was walking by. <laughs> and so yeah. I think that it's one of those things, like you can kind of tune your mind into something. And when you're focusing on it, um, like it, it's really easy to start to see a pattern there and kind of like want to draw some sort of a conclusion from it other than what it is like like coincidences do yeah. happen and i think the like the like the idea that there's something bigger behind it um that would have to kind of override the chances of things being a coincidence um and yeah a lot right. of to do with like the I human psychology a... mm -hmm. go ahead yeah oh sorry to interrupt you but yeah, uh, and i'm not an expert in, in anything except for obscure types of chemistry but uh, you know, I've had statistics 101 and psych 101, and I was always a fan of uh, of uh, Carl Jung, and he would talk about synchronicity, you know, this meaningful coincidences. And it's just been a lifelong fascination with me to where, and I, I don't want to debate, well, I've seen X number of this, and I only looked at X number of that, and so it had to be extraordinary. But um, the, I, I'm fascinated by the feeling sometimes you get an eerie, creepy, you know, your hair stands up, wow. It, you know, not just, oh, look, it's a coincidence, but that feeling is what I focus on. And uh, I, I think it'd be interesting to hear people talk honestly about how often they have that feeling. And then, like you say, like you say, try to ascribe some sense of, oh, well, that was a sign or that was a blessing or my spell worked or whatever. You know, I, I, I focus on that feeling rather than just the, the numbers, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like, yeah, for me, it's like, I used to always think that I hated Thursdays, like there was something about the day Thursday that I'm like, I don't want to go to work if I can have that as my day off in the week that I'll do it because there's just something about it I hate. And then eventually, you know, you start to realize that, oh, it's, um, I'm, yeah, it's the same, you're taking the hits and, and ignoring the misses if you have a really bad day, and then you realize, oh, it's Thursday, it was kind of like, a, <laughs> you know, you justify it, but like, I mean, I get what you're saying, because it's when you have, especially like, you know, after um, 
my step grandfather died, there the they had issues with the power in uh, in my in his house that same day. So it's like, of course, you're going to describe that, and everybody's like, oh, that's creepy. But you know, they're two separate things that may have you know have just happened to happen on the same day. But it's still like when you in that moment, it's like this is really spooky. <laughs> but, yeah, and, and and like as humans no, were. I was just going to say that as humans, we're like, we're pattern seekers, pattern seekers as well, too. So like, um, it's, it's really normal and natural for, for, especially like when we've been told things our whole lives, it's really easy for us to jump to that thing, like the causation and correlation that like this thing happened right after this other thing. Um, and like, what does that mean? Like, I think that's really normal for, for humans to do. I think that, um, the one other thing that you had mentioned was like the experience of synchronicity, um, I I, I, can, I know what you're talking about, I think, because I think for me, I would describe that as like when you have that sense of awe, like how could this two, how could these things um, line up like that? Like that, that's so that's so crazy. And it's so easy to want to like count or like attribute it to something else besides just a like a happy coincidence. Um, and if we were looking at all the things that didn't line up, you don't really you don't really notice the things that didn't line up because they're not that noticeable. And mm -hmm. to take those moments and to just appreciate the fact that hum as a human, we can have that experience of awe and wonder without having to attribute it to anything. Um, I think it's... It's not easy, though. No, uh, it's not easy. Uh, and then I like what you said, that um, uh, we are pattern recognition machines. And, you know, if our brains have gotten us any kind of evolutionary advantage, it's that we can't you stop from, from, from trying to guess explanations for stuff. And, and sometimes it works. Yeah. Uh, and and that, that's satisfying on a, I don't know, a hormonal dopamine or something level. And so it, it, that's the thing that, that, that people don't get about scientists is that anybody who's got any kind of a degree in anything knows that they're fantastically ignorant about every other discipline of science. <laughs> Whereas you know, religious people tend to point at us and say, oh, you think you understand everything. No, I know how horrifically ignorant I am, and that's okay. <laughs> That's why I do science. So, but anyway, let me let me let y'all go. I really appreciate your time. But let me leave you with uh, it, it, it's, it's one more example that's not mine. There's a, a Arthur C. Clarke book, Childhood's End, which major spoiler alert. I don't know if you guys have read that, but at the end of it, they, they've been talking to aliens this whole time. And at the end of it, the aliens finally reveal themselves, and they look just like the devil. And the punchline in, in that is that humans have this sort of reverse ancestral memory where. You know, through all of history, people have been having premonitions that the world was going to end because of these devil-looking things. So um, that, 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 you know, punchline has always stuck with me. And, and as a physicist, it's something I can't entirely write off. And I, I'd love to hear more people talk about, you know, the experience of what feeling they had and then this thing happened. And like, well, maybe you just knew it subconsciously. Hmm. That's interesting. I, I, anyway, I wait, would wait, let's you guys go. Uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for calling yeah. in. Thanks. It's a good topic, and uh, yeah, I think it's really interesting to um, think about like what what is happening there when our mind notices, like like I hear the word synchronicity all the time, like like um, I, a phrase that gets tossed around a lot in my kind of circle is like, well, that's how the universe works. Like they 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 want to attribute it to something that's like yeah. uh, a mind that's controlling it, even if it's not like these they're not even necessarily referencing any kind of theistic thing, but there 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 must be something at work because um the way that these things are lining up or whatever yeah exactly yeah and i think that like you know i think it's not it's not a bad thing to like kind of zone in on those things to like enjoy how quirky and like odd it is that things line up like that but being fully aware of like the out of the whole day one thing happened like that and the rest of the day everything else just kind of went off on its own and nothing really lined up in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it is a good example of like that counting the hits and ignoring the misses. And I know for myself, I do see 11, 11 on the clock a lot. And it's really hard to not um, sometimes think like, did I have a premonition that it was coming up on 11, 11 yeah, <laughs> or 555? Exactly. That's another one that I get a lot. <laughs> yeah. But it's not like you've never looked at a clock when it wasn't those numbers. Yes. I probably looked at those, the clock. Yeah. I probably looked at the clock already like 10 times over the last like hour, if I, especially if I'm waiting for something. Um, and yeah, one of those times happened to fall on a, a number that feels yeah. magical, some, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Like I was, uh, I, like I used to live in Alberta and I was visiting some friends and, uh, 
I ran into, I was visiting, like I went back to Alberta to visit some friends and I ran into somebody I knew. And for them, they had just been thinking about me that morning and had no idea I was in the same province as them. And plus we were in a small town that we didn't know each other in. So it like mm -hmm. to them that blew their mind. Like, yeah. <laughs> and it was like evidence that God had put me in their path and it was, but it, yeah. to me it's like, yeah, but <laughs> it's so easy. Like I, I can think back to how easy it was to attribute everything to like that. Right. Yeah. Like that, this is all meant to be, um, and like, I honestly don't know, like what, like, if we're thinking about what all of the other things are that you have been already um, exposed to in the day. So like, this happens for my husband every now and then, actually quite frequently, he'll think of somebody and then he'll get a call from them, like the same yeah. day. And I, I swear, I've always been like, well, like, what you had you gone on social media and had you scrolled down and had you seen somebody like, there's got to yeah. be something that like maybe was just very subconscious on your level that mm -hmm. made you think about that person and they posted something and that something is also something that you know about. And then that, like, I don't know, I, I think it's it's it makes more sense if you just say like, what is the possible or what are the likelihood that um, I just kind of saw that person on social media re recently and their face yeah. stuck with me. So when they called me later that day, it felt very, very suspicious. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it, it's not, yeah. it's not too complicated, but it does make you feel weird. I'll admit yeah. that it does make you feel weird. Oh yeah. Like when you pick up the phone to call somebody and they're calling you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> the Lord needs us to, to get together, but. Um, yeah, yeah. And how easy was it to attribute that to? yeah exactly. uh, like the holy spirit or whatever <laughs> exactly <laughs>